We're here at Midwest LSA Expo 2020. It's another sunny day out here. The colors are coming through this wing very nicely. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Andy Aldridge from Tri-State Kites, and you're going to tell me a little bit about this airplane that looks very much like one many, many people know, but is not exactly the same. So welcome to Midwest. Tell me a little bit about your company and this product we're standing in front of right now. This model here is one of the premier models that we just come out with. It's what we call the MXLR. MXLR. And what does R mean? Uh, R means it has a modified uh, wing length from the original MXL. It's something between the original MXL length and the sport version MXL. Uh, the airfoil has been changed. Oh, it has. It's uh, We thinned the airfoil out and changed uh, a few things about the parameters of the airfoil. Uh, it makes it a very fast ship. Um, the, the plane will actually cruise somewhere around um, 80 miles an hour. 80 with, miles an hour, as, really? As equipped with this uh, fairing and wheel pants and, and the engine package and thrust line, yes. So, you know, when I look at a product like the, the fairing up here that is helping the speed you just mentioned, I'm, I'm thinking, well, okay, this is definitely not a Quicksilver part. This is an aftermarket. If it was a Quicksilver, this would be an aftermarket yes. part. This is something your folks are making? Yes, this is from Smitty Fab. Um, he's a partner with the... Uh, Tri-State. And Smitty Fab, S-M-I-T-T-Y, Fab.com? Fab. Yep. Okay, great. And uh, he makes all the wheel covering, fairings, uh, seat tanks, um, uh, everything you see here. And he has a big, wide variety of things that you can uh, you can bolt onto a Quicksilver or we manufacture for our own. Every product that we make, including the entire aircraft, any one part of our aircraft are made in a way that if a gentleman would like to have uh, something upgraded, that it will fit right on his existing Quicksilver. Beautiful. And we have other options on dehedrals and washouts and wing lengths and airfoils. Oh. And we change a lot of things on them, to, but we tailor them to the customer and what his needs are. Now, that would suggest, I mean, for example, if you're going to change the dihedral, that means you're changing wire lengths and things like that because it's a wire-braced airplane, as everyone can see and surely knows. That gets into a level of detail, you know, changing dihedral is not something most people would do casually. So how much experience do you folks have with doing this sort of thing? Uh, I've got about 35 years. The founder of the company started in uh, 74. This is Mark Smith? Mark Smith. Let's come yes, back to him in a moment, but okay. continue. Um, and, uh, you know, we've, we've done, did all the designs. We've did all the testing. We don't let anything out the door that we haven't flown ourselves for at least a couple of years. Oh. So everything that we make now has been in mainstream for at least the last 20. Um, there are some designs that <laughs> okay. we... Uh, that's that a lot. We, that we have made for engine placements and that that was very complicated. Uh, now we're back to a, a more simple uh, engine mounting design and thrust line system that's very easy for a guy that has a Quicksilver that can bolt it right into place. Okay. And you said you were talking about the, the method of installing the engine. Tell me what you told me about the engine and how this benefits someone who might have less experience, which would be a lot of people who would buy this kind of aircraft would have a lesser amount of experience because it's a more approachable airplane. Absolutely. So tell me how the engine part works out for you. Uh, we've changed the parameter to the thrust line and the washout of the wings on a lot of these models. And which what that means is we put a positive thrust lining into the design. And what that means is that we've lowered uh, the center of thrust so that it would have oh. positive thrust when you would add throttle. So if you're uh, for that for that nervous pilot who yes. jams the throttle at right, sort of the wrong time, wrong time, it doesn't go badly for yes, him. Yes, he comes in low, he comes in slow. Um, it gets ahead of him. He can nail the throttle. It, it will pretty much carry you out of it in most situations. Um, the, the regular design with the uh, belt drive done a fair job. It done a fair job for many, many years. Yes, it has. Um, and then they did some top mount things that uh, where the engine's on top. That caused a few issues. Um, so we decided that this is our new mainstream engine mount. This is kind of the right place for the that's, engine in this aircraft. We we've been higher. We've been lower. <laughs> we've been on top with the box down. We've been on bottom with the box up. We've, we've tried everything until we found that sweet spot to where it really works well. Well, that's the benefit of working and working and working at this like you and your, your partner Mark did. Um, how many aircraft have you done over the years? I would say Built since, over uh, the years. since the, the production started of the entire aircraft, we're somewhere between 150 and 200. Wow. Especially given that the basic design of the airplane is really well proven. It's really well proven. It's really well known. And they made a, a lot of them. So uh, that's the design uh, when the founder, Mark, got together to, to build them. He decided that uh, that, that looked like the best design. And he kind of took me under his wing and as a kid, a little kid, 
and I was no more than a bolt fetcher back then. So uh, he, <laughs> a bolt fetcher, a bolt fetcher, <laughs> and uh, and then he started designing things, and I started getting interested and in, in getting education to do that that kind of thing. And then before long, he was making designs, I was making designs, and it just kind of went wild with it. Great, Andy. Well, uh, you see, you expressed that Mark Smith, uh, now departed, unfortunately, was your best friend as well as your mentor in this stuff. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Mark and what he contributed. Uh, as a kind of a tribute to him. I think Mark contributed probably the most to Quicksilver, to be honest. Um, uh, he started back when they first they first come out with him. Uh, he trained many people. Uh, he sold uh, the most kits there for a few years whenever the uh, weight shift and the MX was out. That was basically how I met him um, as a young man. And uh, he, he really got so good at it that with him and I there, uh, if a guy ordered a plane at noon one day and he'd say what color you want the next day at noon he was flying <laughs> and uh, so that's some like service that. it, it doesn't quite work that way now because everything's a lot more intricate and advanced but but uh, he he pushed the industry on quicksilver for a, a quite a ways and, and did a lot of new designs made a lot of designs together and we're still flying all the designs today now we're, we've tried to refine everything that him and i have done and uh we're going to make it make it go. Well, you got a couple of handsome aircraft here. This one in its striking purple and green and black and yellow colorations with all the color match parts. You got another really sharp one back over here that's in the camera view a little bit. But I'm looking now beyond the camera and I'm seeing a flock of other airplanes. You got quite a group of people here. We do. We've, we've got quite a following. There's a lot of people that come to our fil uh, facility. Uh, we offer a builder's assist program, and we offer a, a package to where a guy can bring his crashed aircraft in, and, and we'll assist him on fixing his crashed oh, aircraft. Oh, great. Uh, we've got people in uh, line to give instruction, and we even have a, a little hotel there on site so we can put the guys up. Is that right? Wow, that's quite an operation. I'll have to come and visit sometime. I didn't know all of that. And I'll bet you a lot of other people didn't either, so thanks for telling us about it. Um, give me a list of a few of the things that, besides the ones you just mentioned, anything else you do? Uh, for example, let's say I'm a, a Quicksilver branded owner. I own a Quicksilver by that company. And I don't know, maybe this, maybe this landing gear leg. I know this is one that sometimes if you take a pretty hard whack on landing, sure. which can happen, we've all done it. And that bends a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but you got to get a new part now. You right. don't want to just bend it back or something stupid like that. Do you, can you supply that for that brand of product? Uh, we can, and we make an upgraded version of it. So <laughs> that if, uh, if, if something happens like that and the upgraded version gets bent, then I recommend to come back and get a few more hours of instruction. Well, of course, that's a good idea, too, because we can always use another hour of instruction. Absolutely. Any of us can. Yes. So but that's things great. Things happen, so, I mean, uh, by accident. So you got to put that into the factory as well. That's great, so... All right, so uh, thanks for telling me all of that, plus a little bit of history about Mark Smith. Rest in peace, Mark, but uh, you did a lot of good work there, and, and you left some very capable people in your wake, so that's we're, great for you to do that, Andy. And, and you got quite a staff of people here with you, too. you got a very good presence here at the show. Thank you. Man. So tell me uh, now where we can uh, chase you down to find out more information, order stuff, get parts, get buy a new airplane, learn how to fly, all that stuff. Where do we find you on the web? And we'll put it up on the screen for folks. Okay, uh, you can find us at trikite.com, or you can message me at Andy at Trikite, or you can message Tom at Trikite. You can also find us on Facebook at uh, Tri-State Kite Sales Hangar Talk. Okay, very good. So there's all the word about uh, what I'll call the Quick Smith or the Silvers or the Smith Silvers uh, from Andy Aldridge. You can find lots more about these. I've written extensively about not so much the your particular brand, but this type of airplane that looks this way. I've written about a lot of those and a lot of other affordable aviation. All that's available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Andy and myself here at Midwest LSA Expo 2020.